Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We covered different slide animations in a video a while back, but a question that keeps coming up is, how do we stop the animation on the text on a slide? We still want the slides to change in the background, but we want the text to stay static, just like this. Really easy to do. We've got to write a single line of code, any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy it, paste it, use it how you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. I'm going to go down and delete the slider we've got here, and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to hit the little dark button. I'm going to roll down, and we'll grab a slider module. There we go. And there we go. It puts in two slides by default. Let's go in and make these a little more interesting. So we can change the background image and color so we can discern between the different ones. Let's make that color blue, pop an image in. Now I'm going to roll down to background image blend and just mix the color with multiply here. Great, I'll pause the video and I'll do that to the next four slides also. Just save this, go back to the main slider settings. And I'll do a few more by cloning these slides. So we've got four of them. And I'll change those backgrounds out. Okay, well, I've added four different slides with different backgrounds there. Let's automate this thing. To make this thing automatically rotate, I'm going to go over to design. Make sure in the main slider settings, down to the bottom, we'll find animation. Automatic animation. I'm going to put that to on. Default seven seconds. I'm going to make mine say five seconds just to speed things up a bit. I'm going to leave the continue automatic slide on hover to off. That way it'll stop animating when they put their mouse on it. They can read it and hit the button. Okay, so we've got that automatically sliding. Now, if you go down and you can't find automatic animation, chances are you're in one of your slides. If I go into one of these slides, design down to the bottom, there's no animation there. So if you don't see it, you're in one of your slides, just simply save that to go back to the main slider settings, design, animation. This question always comes up. There you're going to find your automatic animation. Great. All we wanted to do, as you can see, those slides are fading one to the other. But the actual writing is sort of fading up and in. And there's various different animations you can do. But the question that came up all the time is we want no animation. So in the main slider settings, let's go over to our advanced. I'm going to go down to custom CSS. Roll down. We'll see the slide description right here. I'm in the main slider settings. You can do this individually and change the slider settings on each one if you want to. But I'm doing it for the whole lot. In the slide description, I'm going to say animation. Dash name. Colon. I'm going to say none. Semicolon. And as you may have noticed, that writing is not animating. We've got a bit of a flash going on because we're on the builder side here. So let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the visual builder. And here we are. As you can see, when it revolves around to the next slide in five seconds, the actual text has got no animation at all, which is what was asked. There's plenty of different animations you can apply. We covered that in our last video. I'll put a list of the animation names down below for anybody that wants it. So there you go, guys. There is how to remove the animation from the text and button on your Divi slider. That'll work on the full screen slider too for anybody that wants to use it. If I take my mouse off, it should start animating again in five seconds. There we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, put them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.